Oh, I have the blue one. I lucked out. The iPod is one of those select few products like TiVo that we just outright love. We can't live without. And that's when you know a technology is really just right. Our next guest is an iPod lover, too. Just about finished with his third edition of his book, Secrets of the iPod. Chris Breen is here, contributing editor for Macworld, author of the Mac 911 column, the great Mac 911 books. And he's going to show us how he screwed up two iPods. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm afraid I did. Now you can, too. Yes, it's just this easy. Don't you love the iPod? I do. I love it. I, uh, I have five iPods. You do, really? Three of them work. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. You're a, you have a net, you know, you're a net positive. That's right. right. I, I actually, this is my second iPod. I got the first one, uh -huh. the five megabyte, I, yeah. a gigabyte, and I love it. Yeah. But now this is the 30 that uh, I just bought. And right. boy, five seems so small. Well, yeah, because you can't put 25 days worth of continuous music. I can music listen to music nonstop. <laughs> non the other thing is I'm finding the battery life on the uh, the five years, what, two years old now, the five yeah. gig? And I, it, the battery won't charge as well as it used to. No, and, you know, these are rechargeable batteries. And over time, especially over a year and a half or so, people are starting to see their battery life is diminishing. You know, they promise 10 hours, and you're getting, like, three hours, right. perhaps. Exactly. So, and if you know if you're using this as a portable music device, that's just not enough. Well, can, what do I do? Can I bring it to Apple? Will they fix that? No. What they will do is they'll say, um, "Really?" And yes. then they'll and you say, "Yeah, I, I think it's broken." And right. they'll say, "Well, okay," and that'll be two hundred fifty-five dollars, oh, wow. please. And uh, here's a different iPod. They basically swap it out. Yeah. Uh, but you could do this because you, you. are a geek. Because <laughs> I am a geek. Do you document this in the book? Yes, I do. All in right. the third edition, we talk about this. All right. So we're gonna what? Replace the battery? We're going to replace the battery. The battery's worn out. We're going to put a new one in. Right. So this is a, this is an iPod battery, lithium-ion battery. Where do you get these? Uh, you get this from a company called PDA Smart. Mm -hmm. PDASmart.com. Okay. You'll notice that the red lead on there is broken. Yeah, this is the one that uh, doesn't work anymore. Yeah, that's the one that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> okay. I, I've disassembled this iPod about 40 times now, and that's finally what happened. So you've got to be careful taking this thing apart. Yeah, you do. All right. This is a first-generation iPod, and they're actually pretty easy to get into. Uh, How do you get in? Is there's no screws? I know. There are no screws. You look it's, at this; it's, it looks like it's like a sealed box. It's held on by friction. There's so, no glue. No glue. Okay. So PDA Smart will actually send you two little plastic, and we will call them. The technical term is doohickey. These are the doohickeys. Uh, you, there, there's, there's one. one doohickey. I don't know. The we other lost the other doohickey. Gone somewhere. We've we, lost our doohickey. Oh, heavens! Um, and it's very much like a tire iron for a bicycle. <laughs> it's a pry bar. It's a pry bar. So what you do is you pry the top corner. Now, this is a, this I is a third generation. I won't do it to this one. I'm no, not going to do it to this one. Works, one. Okay. Uh, on a first generation, you, you pry toward the top. Okay. You get a little space, and you s insert the second one, and then you scooch it down because... And you're just going to go down the edge there. You go down the edge because there are little clamps all the way down and around. Well, it is. It's just like taking a, a tire off a wheel. It is. So, so this is the... Um, <laughs> this is kind of funny because on the, on, the, on the chrome side, it looks beautiful. On the inside, it looks like an Altoids tin. It's it, not, is, it is actually yeah. an Altoids tin. And there, those, those bumps are, are the friction bumps in there? Right. And then on the inside, you'll see the matching teeth. I see. Okay. So it pops off? Yeah, well, once you First see the seam... First time you did it, it was a little weird. Oh, yeah. It was really weird. scary. It was, it was sweaty work. It was <laughs> one of those, oh, please don't break. And it didn't. And it, it didn't. And it didn't bend. And it didn't it bend. It seems pretty rigid. Yeah. All right. So once you've done that, okay. um, the battery is held on with a couple of little sticky rubber pads. That's these I mean, things? you open up the thing, and you expect that it's going to be really high-tech. Well, the first generation has electrician's tape <laughs> and little rubber <laughs> sticky things. So somebody went, oh, there. Did Apple build these, or did they buy them from somebody? Oh, what? they're all built somewhere in, in Taiwan. Yeah, okay. But, it, but it's an Apple product. Oh, yeah. It's not like, say, somebody. Okay. Yeah, they designed it. I know the right. firmware and the operating system was designed by a third party. Mm -hmm. but. All right, so, and this is the battery here? That's the battery. How there. do you get that out? Um, what you would do is very, very carefully, you hold the data connector in place. Now, this That's is the this, data connector where here. Where is it? That's this thing up here? Right. All right. You hold that down, and you gently start prying up this direction, so it folds up this way. If you don't hold that, you will rip the data connector out, and then you've got a broken iPod. Oh, man, this sounds really crazy-making. Is this connector here um, going... Is that the the, the, gold, the copper thing? Is yeah, that it? Okay. that's the data connector. And, and where do I want to separate it from? From, from, the, from the circuit board or at the top? What you actually do is you put your you hold your finger here and you pull up here. Uh, I got it. And it comes up and that it, way. And it'll pull out. Okay. And then once it comes out, yeah. uh, there's a little more sticky stuff here that will come off On as the well. Part? Okay. And then there's a little connector, a little plastic connector. You just use your fingernail, pry Oops, it out. I just blocked it. That's this is the connector that you're right, talking that's about. That's the connector. It comes out very easily. Okay. 
and then you put the new battery back in. Charge, oh, charge does, it up. Does the company give you good instructions? You, are they follow, yeah. Can you follow them? Yeah. Okay. Are the English is mm, that's a little <laughs> dodgy, but uh, no, it's. It How much sense. is the hard is the uh, battery upgrade? Fifty nine bucks. Oh, oh, that's great. And if you're concerned no. about, oh, we found the doohickey. They give us a doohickey. There's another oh, doohickey. Well, that's what it is. Yeah, that's it. Okay. If you're concerned about doing it yourself, sixty nine bucks, and they'll do it. You know, once we've got this open, I'd sure like to increase that five gigs to a larger size. Nothing How nice. big can I make my hard drive? Uh, you can put up to a 15 gigabyte drive in there. Really? The 20s are too big to fit in there. The case won't hold it. So what's involved in getting? Should I leave the battery out and then work on the hard drive? Right. Is that then the you next work thing? Then work on the hard drive. Okay. So this is a hard drive. That's a hard drive from a third generation iPod that no longer works. <laughs> I like that. It's in a rubber blue rubber that blue rubber like grommet case. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a, they started doing that with the second generation, so it's a shock protection. Okay. These have no shock protection. You won't see that on the five gig. No, you won't see that. You'll, You'll see, see that the on, the, on the second generation and third generation. Okay. Cool. Um, so how do you get that hard drive? You have to destroy another iPod. You can't buy these? No. OEM. Really? really? It's Fujitsu, I think, and they won't sell them to end users. Nope. Only to companies. So where do you go to get one of these? eBay. And what do you look for? Of course, no, really, of course seriously, eBay. You go where, to eBay. Else would you go? where else would you go? Um, well, the idea is that the, the publisher for my book, Nancy, right. uh, had a guest over for dinner, spilled a little red wine into her iPod. Right. It was out of warranty. Ow. Ow. And it, it broke. Destroyed, yeah. But it didn't wreck the hard drive, and it didn't wreck the battery. Right. It's just the circuit blew out, so right. it was no good. Right. So she said, well, what can I do with it? Can I fix it? No, you can't fix it. Put it on eBay. So there are other people doing this. Other people are doing you, it. For parts. For parts. For salvage. You're using it for salvage. How so much would I expect to pay for 15 gig I, iPod that's broken, but the hard drive works? I don't know, 100, 150 bucks. Not a lot. Not a lot, but certainly less than you'd pay for a new iPod. And so find that, and then you're going to have to get Chris's book for the instructions on how to get the hard drive in. Yes, you are. You're not getting instructions from the eBay guy. The, no, they're not going to give it to you. They'll <laughs> sell the thing you to you, but, and you want to find out how that's it That's the book. Finished. Secrets of the iPod. It's it, Third edition's out any day now. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's great. It, uh, must have if you've got an iPod. Absolutely. Yeah. I, we love the iPod. We love the book. We love Chris Breen. It's so great to have him. Macworld contributing editor. Chris Breen, we don't see you as much with the little baby and everything, but please, anytime you want to come back. Well, thank you very much. Love having you on the show. Thanks. You're the greatest. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. If you think you're ready to open an iPod, I am, I tell you, I'm not doing it. Oh, come on. I'll bring it to Chris's house. He can, <laughs> he can break it just as well as I can. Chris's article will give you what you need. It's all online at thescreensavers.com.